Hey, I'm Kevin Seal. Erica has the night off. Well, barring last minute delays, John William King has about 20 hours left to live. King, of course, the ringleader in the dragging death of Bird, who will be executed by lethal injection in Huntsville around 6 tomorrow night. Lawrence Brewer was executed in 2011. Sean Perry sentenced to life in prison. On June 7, 1998, the crime jolted America. Some would say it changed Jasper forever. Prosecutors say the three white men chained Bird to a pickup and dragged him for three miles along Huff Creek Road. All these years later, the Bird family cannot comprehend it. I could not believe, you know, that this could happen. We got through it by the grace of God. Some negative, some positive, but we made it through. 12 News reporter Tyler Sackerman is live tonight in Huntsville, Texas, where King is spending his final night. Tyler, tell us more. In less than 24 hours, Texas plans to execute 44-year-old John William King here at the Huntsville unit, also known as the Walls unit. Former, Newton, or former Jasper County Sheriff, rather, Billy Rolls, tells 12 News he'll come to Huntsville, but won't be inside to witness the execution. I know that was one of the longest days of my life. The dragging death of James Bird Jr. left a scar on Jasper that's faded but will never be forgotten. Former Jasper County Sheriff Billy Rolls hopes the execution of ringleader John William King offers a small sense of closure. I would like to think that this will end it for the family. I would like to think that. I would like to think it, that would end it for the majority of the people in Jasper. Rolls served as the Jasper County Sheriff in 1998 and was tasked with finding the men responsible for a brutal hate crime. 49-year-old James Bird Jr.'s body was found dismembered on a Jasper County road after being chained to a truck and dragged for three miles. Sheriff Rolls was the one who had to tell the Bird family. I've, I've had to notify the family of deaths uh, for years and years and years, uh, but that was one that was tough. Uh, family was all there. We all cried together. Sheriff Roll says the Jasper community deserves huge credit for solving this case and bringing the three suspects to justice. In my opinion, that's one of the reasons that we were so successful is the, that the community was not divided like everybody uh, was thinking it would be. Wow. Every law enforcement agency should have that kind of support from their community that we had. Again, former Jasper County Sheriff Billy Rolls plans to travel to Huntsville tomorrow, but has chosen not to witness the execution. Live in Huntsville, Tyler Segerman, 12 News. Thanks very much, Tyler. The Bird family will gather with friends at a prayer vigil tomorrow night at 6, coinciding with the execution time at James Bird Jr. Memorial Park in Jasper. Well, today we spoke with a childhood friend of Bird's. Aaron Allen tells us James Bird Jr. loved his family and friends and had a passion for music, especially the trumpet. Allen is hopeful tomorrow's punishment may help Jasper and the Bird family to move forward. I hope after this uh, execution on Wednesday night, you all, you all always had love in your heart before and after. Uh, but keep that love in your heart because you guys are great. Again, tomorrow night at 6, the Bird family will hold a prayer vigil at James Bird Jr. Memorial Park on Butch Street Road. 12 News anchor Erica Harris and reporter Tyler Segerman will have live team coverage from Huntsville tomorrow. Stay with us on air and online throughout the day.